Welcome on to this video. Today we are talking tempo runs. You've probably heard it or seen it in a training program, but we're going to dig deep into the various things around a tempo run. Firstly, what is a tempo run? Who should be doing tempo runs? How to structure your tempo runs? And also, how often you should be doing them in your training plan. We'll also touch on how to do them or whether you should be doing them on a treadmill as well. My name is Brad. I'm from CoachParry.com where we help you become fitter, faster and stronger. We've got the coach with us, Lindsay Parry. Once again, let's head over to Lindsay. We're talking another type of workout on today's video. We're talking about tempo runs. Lindsay, great to have you on once again. For the guys and girls who don't have a clue what we're talking about, and I'll stick my hand up here because I've heard it bandied around lots. What is a tempo run? Yeah, so look, I always find these sort of definitions of, of words like tempo, threshold, um, they're, they're not that easy to define because different coaches have slightly different understandings. Uh, and you know, we, we all do courses and national federations put together courses and there's courses on the internet that you can do. But even when you go from course to course they are slightly different so i mean really um that's just a preamble for you to tell me what or to tell you what i classify as a tempo run and so in our programs on coach perry what does it mean when we're talking about a tempo run and now for me a tempo run is a, a run that's done at close to a little bit quicker but around about marathon race pace and those are runs that will range between 15 and say 25 kilometers would be the longest that I would prescribe that kind of, of workout. But they really are, let's, for, for maybe a, a good way to, for people to, to understand that if we talk about it in music terms, is when you talk about up tempo in music, it's just, it's just that little bit bit of energy into the beat and that's that's really what I use as, as a, a tempo run so it shouldn't be uh, if, as you get to a 25k run it's probably starting to get fairly tiring because it's in a normal training week uh, but for the most part it shouldn't be a run that leaves you really tired in fact it's one of those runs that actually makes you feel really good and makes you feel really fit and really builds confidence and those are parts of the reason why we use it. But the other reason we use it is because it's a classic opportunity to practice taking in nutrition at the intensity that you plan to race at on marathon day. I, I was going to ask you what's the purpose of it, but that, that's exactly it as, you, as you've just explained. Yeah, no, and, and, and it's, it's a great confidence building workout. And again, there are different versions and, and definitions of, of tempo run. Um, but that is that's my understanding of, of a, a tempo run, and that is exactly how I use it. Build confidence, get the the sense of what it's going to feel like on race day, and dial in your nutrition for race day. Uh, we don't do that type of of workout. We certainly don't do a long version of that workout too often, but shorter versions of that workout we we may do quite often. And and tempo intervals as part of long runs, we might do those um, a, a little more often. But the idea of those workouts isn't to exhaust; it's to build confidence. How often? Let, let's talk about the frequency. How often should you be doing tempo runs in a training block? So, so typically, I also only use them for my better athletes. And now, you know, if we're going to talk um, in in comrades' terms, possibly the top five percent of the field in marathon terms, I probably start using it for the guys that are three and a half or, or, or hedging close to three fifteen. And certainly, a, it's a regular feature of people who train um, for three hour and, and, and faster marathons. And typically, I like to do those in the peak training block of about 12 weeks. We'll probably do it three to maximum four times. Lindsay, as, as far as who should be doing that, you mentioned the, 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 the faster guys and girls who are, are, are better athletes. Should, should the back of the packers like me be doing tempo runs? Look, I, I would possibly do it two, once or twice in the build-up to a marathon and that could come in the form of if you're following a 12 to 16 week training program that could come in the form of two half marathons um, at say six weeks 
Um, so kind of halfway and then maybe three weeks later and three weeks from race day. Those would be good opportunities. And again, for me, that would purely be confidence building and and practicing your nutrition running at those speeds. Because often we, we, you know, we do all these long, slow runs, which are absolutely critical to the program. But it's very easy to eat or take a gel or to drink while you're running very, very easy. But as soon as you're running and breathing a little bit hard and pushing yourself, then suddenly drinking and taking a gel and, and definitely eating food and chewing becomes a different kind of ballpark. Lindsay, you mentioned the, the, the length of them and you, you, would, you said you would go up to 20, 25 Ks. Does it depend on what you're training for? Would that dictate the length of your tempo runs? Yes, it the length of what you're training for would absolutely uh, dictate your, your tempo runs and also your ability. So a 25K tempo run, I would never prescribe to somebody who's chasing a sub-4 or sub-430 marathon. I would stick to between 8 and maybe 18, maximum 20Ks. And as I said earlier, maybe the odd half marathon. But that's really as far as I'd extend it for your your 345, 4 hour, 415, 430 type of, of marathoner. But as we move faster down the chain, I would then make those tempo runs longer and 21Ks would be a fairly standard uh, distance and I'd potentially push that up to about 25Ks or as part of a much longer run, a 36K run, where I would then have them finishing at marathon race pace for maybe the last 8 to 10 to 12 kilometers. Can you do a tempo run like that on a, on a treadmill? Absolutely. I mean, I, I think, I think any time that there is a reason for running on a treadmill, be it weather, be it safety, um, be it needing to watch your kids while you're training, the treadmill is going to win not doing the session every single time. So I've never had a problem with training on a treadmill. Other, well, I have a personal problem with it because I get so, so bored. But but I've never had a problem with anybody that I've worked with or coached that, that uh, train on a treadmill. And the one nice thing about a treadmill with this kind of session is that when you know what, what your ideal sort of tempo or marathon race pace is you can dial that in on the treadmill and you just you bang it out you know you you, you can hold a really good consistent pace on the treadmill and if you don't you fall off the back yeah if you stop uh, or forget to climb off then that's exactly what happens hey thanks for watching don't forget if you don't want to miss out on any of our videos make sure you click the subscribe button over here you can watch our latest video over here and be sure to check out uh, one of our most popular videos over here. Uh, and then also, if you want to catch up uh, and grab one of our free strength training programs, all you need to do is click over here.